When I first started photography two years ago, it was really overwhelming to discover that there's an entire universe beyond just taking pictures with my smartphone. So here are five accessories that I think are worth it for beginners in 2023. I'm going to start with the most expensive item and work my way down so that the video becomes less intimidating rather than more intimidating as you watch it. I'll also be leaving links for both a budget option as well as the product that I'm using so you have options based on your current budget. My favorite accessory on this list is the Peak Design Capture Camera Clip. When I first started photography, there was nothing that I hated more than camera straps. It was annoying and it hurt my neck, which is why the capture clip was a godsend of a solution for me. It's super simple to use and works with almost any backpack. You simply grab the Allen key that comes with it and attach the mount piece to your backpack strap. And the quick release plate is installed onto your camera with the same Allen key. Now you can simply click in your camera in the capture clip when you're not using it, leaving you hands free to do whatever you need and your neck pain free. This has been extremely useful when traveling or hiking and if you're going to shoot outdoors this is an essential. Next up we have this portable mini LED light from LoomCube. This light is excellent due to its portability and features. You're able to change the temperature as well as the brightness with the built-in controls and it charges via USB-C. It also comes with this diffusion panel which allows you to soften the light. When you first start off, you're still learning about lighting and the incredible impact it can have on your visuals. So a light like this is perfect for beginners without having to spend a ton of money on a more professional setup. This particular light also comes with a hot shoe mount, allowing you to mount the light directly to your camera, which is super useful for product shoots. This is a circular polarizer, and there are a ton of great companies to choose from like Polar Pro, Freewell, KNF, but the most budget friendly one that I got when I first started was the Amazon one. Amazon makes their own line of filters for photographers, which definitely get the job done if you're just starting out. I'm now a Polar Pro partner, but I used the Amazon one for over a year. A circular polarizer filter lets you cut through harsh reflections and glare while adding contrast to your scene. It's kind of like the dehaze slider in Lightroom. These are especially popular amongst car, architecture, and landscape photographers. My advice is to get the biggest one possible, then purchase step-up rings which allow you to attach bigger filters on smaller lenses. That way you don't have to buy new filters when you get new lenses. Next up we have a memory card case. Now this one is self-explanatory and might seem useless at the beginning since you'll likely only have one memory card but this is an early investment that will stick with you for your entire photography career. I also got this when I had just one card. I've had this ever since and mine is not the most organized. Also, I have a very basic one, but I'll probably be switching over to the Polar Pro one really soon. And lastly, this is probably the accessory you have never heard of, but this is a hot shoe bubble level. Now, initially I got this in a pack of other accessories and I thought it was completely useless since I could just use the grid lines on my camera or adjust the orientation in post in case I messed up my leveling. But if you're someone who's going to be doing a lot of top-down photography on a C-stand, this accessory is a lifesaver because I learned the hard way that it's not the easiest thing leveling your camera when you use a C-stand. This leveler has both axes built in so you can get perfect top-down shots every single time. Hopefully you guys got some value out of this video and it makes your gear selection process as a beginner a little easier. It can be super overwhelming when you first start, so I just wanted to share five of my favorite camera accessories that I think any beginner will love. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. But other than that, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. And until then, keep creating.